All right, YouTube family. <clears throat> Hola, como estas? Nah, I'm chatting. I gotta tighten up my Spanish for real. Y'all ain't know happy. Y'all ain't know I'm half Spanish. Si, pero de momento. All right, YouTube was good. Family, hope everybody's doing well. It's early in the morning. I believe it's 8.52 right now. And uh, we're gonna do a little quick soon time slash story times. Hold on, let me make sure the lighting is good. So I was thinking of ideas on topics or like give y'all some, um, give y'all some, uh, what you gonna call it? <clears throat> Excuse me, give y'all some, um, you know, some juicy stories. Uh, what's a what's a good syn synonym of stories? Let me look that up real quick. But anyway, I was thinking of ideas to st to talk about with y'all because it has been a little minute. Let me see. Synonym. Oh, this is in the way. Synonym stories. Okay, we'll do tales. I like tales. Tales is a dope. Or chronicles. All right, that's fine. We're going to do some chronicles today. Anyway, I'm going to speak on... Hope y'all doing well. Uh, my fault. Um, yeah, you know, hope y'all doing well. And we're going to get right into the video. We're going to speak on the time I had a little situation nothing too crazy i had a little john a little shorty uh i met her at my job this is when i was working retail um i did speak on this previously as far as what retail store i was working at, at the time this was adidas uh shout out to adidas um this is when i was a sales associate so if y'all don't know <clears throat> you know it's kind of similar to those people that work at Foot Locker, Finish Line, Champs. If you f Do they have Champs in the South? Oh, yeah, they do have Champs. I'm bugging. <clears throat> uh, what's another one? Detail art. You get what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Sell associate. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to get right to it. So, I was working um, at Adidas. I was a sell associate. And there was this girl, you know what I'm saying? Nice chocolate, nice shape, slim, thick, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she pulled up. <clears throat> now, mind you, I was helping with other customers. It'd be busy. I think I was working on a weekend at the time, too. It'd be busy. It'd be a lot going on, a lot of commotion, this, that, and the third. And, um, you know, a bunch of, excuse my language, a bunch of the niggas I was working with, they was kind of thirsting over shorty they was on her body oh shall i say so i'm working with a customer or whatnot helping them you know what i'm saying with what they need and dudes was like yo you should check out this girl this that that, that, that all that so you know me being me when it you know i'm a flirt you know what i'm saying i'm a flirt let me see if she's even worth me even entertaining so or even talking to her. so um I happened to see her, and I'm like, yo, she's actually really cute. You know what I'm saying? I love chocolate women. Shout out to all my chocolate women, dark skin women, all that. I like melanin. Um, neither here nor there. But, you know, she was attractive. So I'm like, yo, all right, that's a bet bet. So I approach her, you know, me being me, like, yo, miss. I ain't say yo, but I said, excuse me, miss, how you doing? I said something along those lines, asking her, you know, if she needs any help with anything. So, you, you know, uh... I think she needed something. She was looking for whatever, you know. So I was telling her about the sales, deals, this, that, and the third. You know, smooth, easily smooth my way in and see what's up with her. And like I said, she was looking nice that day. So we ended up talking. Uh, <laughs> we ended up talking. We ended up, um, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if she bought anything. Probably not. But neither here or there, I ended up exchanging uh information was so i ended up getting her number i think at the time did i have a snapchat i think i did have snap i think i did have snapchat at the time so i ended up getting her number snapchat all that good shit so she left i'm back on the floor doing my thing get back to clients customers all that and do what i do so fast forward we ended up communicating talk flirt all that and we ended up linking. So I'm like, yo, let's go to the movies. So I took her to the movies. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say where I took her to the movies. I don't even remember what movie theater. I don't remember what movie we went to go see. But I took her to the movies up north. <clears throat> if you're from Jersey, 
I'm talking about a North like. I don't want to name drop cities, but like Paramus, all that. So I'm going to leave it right there because I'm giving y'all a little too much if I tell y'all exactly where I was at when I, where I took her at. So we ended up going to the movies. She's never been in that. She's never been at that. She's never been in that area. I don't want to get into spe too specifics because then y'all going to put the, put everything together. But anyway, she, she ended up... Um, she ended up, uh, we ended up linking. We went out, this, that, cool, vibing, all that. She's a vibe. She's dope. Um, you know what I'm saying? She got good energy. She's attractive. She's a little tomboyish, too. So, you know, I like that. You know what I'm saying? To a degree. So, end of the movie ends. Um, we heading back to the car, to the parking lot, and I'm driving her home. So as I'm talking, I'm on the highway, driving, talking, Mac and where she started bringing up her. Now, she's a single mother, you know. Shout out to all the single mothers. I have nothing against y'all at all. You know, I salute y'all. So she started talking about a baby father, right? So I'm like, all right, whatever. Now, she kept talking about the nigga. And this is no shot at all. This is no shot at all to anybody or whatnot. This was a long time ago. This was some years. So anyway, so she kept talking about her BD. And it kind of like, I, was, I wasn't getting mad because it's like, that's between y'all. You know what I'm saying? But it was kind of getting annoying a little bit, right? So I ended up pulling up on her block and we chill in front of her, like her crib. We chill... We on her block. We're probably a couple of houses down from where she stay at, or where she lives. And it's funny because she doesn't live too far from where I used to live, where I grew up. But I'm not going to go into specifics, though. So, so uh, we chill in my car. We started talking. And then, like, she still kept talking about her BD. Now, eventually, she starts to slowly get into his background, this, that, and the third. So she tells me this nigga is incarcerated for murder. So before she even told me that, I'm already like already pre gaming, trying to, you know what I'm saying, do my thing, what whatnot. And once she brought that up, it just threw me off. It was like, oh nah, I'm not I can't do this. Like, I can't even entertain this. Like, I fuck with you, you know, but once you incorporated the what's the once she, once she incorporated the murder and he's this and that i ain't trying to get into involved in all this criminal shit but when she said that i was like oh no nah, i can't even fuck with you like that like i i not nah, i can't i can't do nothing with you because it just it threw me off like i was already focused ready to do my thing and she just kept talking about the nigga. And she kept talking about it. And then she brought up that. And I'm like, nah, this is an exit out. I got to exit out of this. So respectfully, politely, I ended it. Or we ended it, whatnot. And that was that. So it was kind of a dub after that. But it was just so funny because she kept bringing him up. And I ain't no... I ain't no you know, it's mad cliche to even say it, but I'm not no jealous nigga. First of all, you're not my girl. We just cool. We vibing. But it's not even that. It's just the fact that I don't really care what the next man is doing, right? Neither they they care what I'm doing, right? But the fact that she kept bringing that shit up, it just turned me off completely. Well, and then the final, the final ceiling was when she brought that murder shit. And I was like, well, no, nah, I can't fuck with you. So, yeah, that's pretty much the end of that story. It was a little kind of um, off guard, a little like, and I keep it a buck. I like salute the fact that she kept it honest with me, you know? So, it was really up to me for whether I want to do it, whether I wanted to continue to entertain it or not, which clearly that wasn't the case. But I could respect the fact that she was thorough and kept it a buck, but I ain't fucking with no bitches. I got shit like that at all. That's that's neither. That's not my rear view at all. So anyway, I figured let me give y'all a quick story time. Damn, I gave y'all like ten minutes of this. I'm probably gonna edit a little bit. I'm about to drop two more vids. Um, I'm gonna drop two more vids. Oh, uh, 
again we still have hats left we have a few left please feel free to dm me uh just hit me hit me hit me facebook ig i'm not on twitter just find me find me hit me and we'll make it happen i am looking to drop excuse me i am looking to drop um uh, damn i'm looking to drop bucket hats uh this summer so be on the lookout for that and that's pretty much it man i hope y'all enjoy this little mini soon time story time not my fault tales tales of the time uh i was talking with this chick um and her bd is x y and z so anyway like comment subscribe i hope y'all enjoyed this and i'm gonna catch on the next joint y'all be safe deuces